step out when you're chanting, is this part, I want to know if this is part of the process. Whether, uh, what happens to me a lot is that I can be chanting and my mind is like in 75 different directions. It's looking at, at, it's, it's looking at, you know, my grocery list. It's looking at what I have to do today. Once I master the mantra in something, it, I can be meditating on it and I'm constantly bringing my mind back, bringing my mind back, you know, focus the intention on whatever it is I'm, I'm chanting about, whether it's healing the family, healing myself. But the mantra can be going, but what about that when, when I'm in that kind of a situation and, and I'm, I'm chanting but my mind is all over the place? What do I do about it? Is it still working? It's still working. I mean, you've got to understand that that's the first thing the mind is going to do is say, I don't want to deal with this, you know. So all these things are your mind's way of avoiding where the chant wants to take it. It's, not, it's trying to say, I don't really want to, I don't want to relate. Okay, I'm, I'm chanting, but really I'm, I'm figuring out my term paper that's due. The mind, the mind is saying, please don't make me look at these things that I don't want to look at. It's a defense mechanism. Getting really tired is also another defense mechanism. You start chanting and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I just want to go back to sleep. It's the mind reacting saying, please don't make me look at what's in my subconscious. Don't worry about it. Just keep chanting and eventually you're gonna, your subconscious will start to release. Your mind will start have, having to deal with it. But the, the whole beauty of it is, is you go at your pace. You know, there, it, there's nothing wrong. You will get to the mess when you're ready to. The mess will clear at the pace that it can clear. But your commitment is just keep doing the mantra, just keep doing the sadhana, just keep doing the meditation, and let the mind go through all of its games and mechanisms, and it will eventually start to shift and heal and align and say, OK, I guess I do have to deal with this and, sur and surrender. You're, you're, you're asking your mind to get to the point of surrender, and the fight is between you and your mind. You keep chanting, the mind plays its games. You keep chanting, the mind plays its games. You keep chanting, and the mind eventually surrenders. And even when it's things that you don't even know exist, because this meditation is about clearing ancestral karma, you may not even one part of you understand or know consciously in the, with the conscious mind right. what happened three generations ago, what happened five generations ago. I know in my family we didn't have a lot of family history that was written or taught or, or, or shared down from generation to generation. My, my mother was essentially an orphan. Uh, her parents died when she was very, very young. Uh, so there was a whole maternal side of my family that I never knew. So here, even though I'm in this meditation and I'm chanting the mantra, uh, I'm, I'm working on this, on people I've never known, on patterns I can only guess at. So simply by holding the intention of that and allowing those energies to come through may bring tremendous awarenesses. Is, is, is that something? That's correct. Yes, that's actually, you know, for many people, it's, the reality is not only do we not know our ancestral history, it's so shrouded in secrecy, hmm. right? Because we can't, you know, who was abused, who was raped, who was, all those things are not verbally discussed in the family. They're secrets that are hidden and there's coping mechanisms to navigate around the pain of those events. And those coping mechanisms are subconsciously imprinted on you as a child, you have absorbed them without even realizing. So when you start to do a practice like this, you may all of a sudden be getting in touch with feelings and you have no idea what they're related to, but they're just, they're related to a vibration of a secret that might go three generations back yeah. and you're holding it. And, but you don't have to, you don't have to know. All you have to do is chant. Because in the chanting, the vibration can get expressed and it can get released. And as long as you just recognize, I'm just chanting and so this can shift, then, then that's, the, that's the magic of it. That's, uh, though, the same thing principled with, uh, like, for example, the crystal singing bowls, which is something that I understand at a very deep level. The most important thing is to hold your intention. 
uh, and that's what we were talking about before, redirecting the mind, bringing it back to the chant, to the focus, to just the simple sitting in awareness of what you're doing and allow allow the magic to happen inside of that. Yeah. But we, it's part of our practice and our discipline is to bring that focused awareness of, let's say, light to all of that, light to our generations, light to our ancestral lineage, light to our family. Right. And we can simply sit inside of that light. Yes. Yes, absolutely. That's why, that's why it's said that these practices, when you do them, they liberate seven generations before you and seven generations ahead of you. Because you're taking those deep patterns that live in the subconscious realm that may never be logically understood, and you're healing them. And so all of the ancestors who couldn't heal them themselves, but at least got to you, you know what I mean? At least you came from them and you're doing the practice. You're doing it for seven generations before you and then in healing it you're not passing that on from from you to your to your children so and that's how the transition to the Aquarian age is going to happen it's not going to be that there's some snap of the fingers and the curtain rises and now we're in this magical new world it's that every single person connected with a technology is going to do this level of deep healing and deep transformation and then out of that healing we will create a new world together